Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will learn how to construct a linear function and to determine its initial values and rate of change. Here we will also see how to obtain values from a given function and make a table of values. Now we know a linear equation is of the form y is equal to mx plus b An equation is in the function form if it is solved for y. Let us see an example for this. Now 2x plus 3y is equal to 4 is not a function Now further we can write this equation as 3y is equal to minus 2x plus 4 which further gives y is equal to minus 2 upon 3 into x plus 4 upon 3. So when this equation is solved for y then in this form it becomes a function. Now it is showing a linear relation, so it is a linear function. Now here we can put values of x and solve it for y. So we can say that y is a function of x and is denoted by y is equal to f of x. So here f of x is equal to minus 2 upon 3 into x plus 4 upon 3. Now suppose we have to find f of 1 that is we have to find value of y when x is equal to 1. Now let this be equation number 1. So putting x is equal to 1 in equation 1 we get f of x is equal to minus 2 upon 3 into 1 plus 4 upon 3 and this is equal to minus 2 upon 3 plus 4 upon 3 which is equal to minus 2 plus 4 whole upon 3 which is equal to 2 upon 3. So for x is equal to 1 we have y is equal to 2 upon 3 or f of x is equal to 2 upon 3. Similarly, we can find other values like f of 0. Now f of 0 will be equal to minus 2 upon 3 into 0 plus 4 upon 3 which is equal to 4 upon 3. This means for x is equal to 0, y or f of x is equal to 4 upon 3. Now for these values, let us make a table. So for this linear function, we can make input output table for the different values of x and y. Here input means the value of x and output means the value of y. Now for x is equal to 1, we are getting y is equal to 2 upon 3. And for x is equal to 0, we are getting y is equal to 
or upon 3. Now this table is called table of values. Now when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2 upon 3, then we have the ordered pair as 1, 2 upon 3 and the second ordered pair is 0, 4 upon 3. Now if we have to graph a linear function, we graph it in a similar way as we have graphed linear equation. We can use slope intercept method of graphing or we can use input output table for graphing. As here, we will plot these ordered pairs on the graph to obtain the graph of this linear function. Now in a linear function of the form f of x is equal to mx plus b or y is equal to mx plus b coefficient of x that is m represents rate of change that is slope and B represents the y intercept. Now let us discuss how to form a linear expression. Now consider the following example. Here the table below shows the cost of renting a car. The company charges $45 a day for the car as well as charging one time $25 fees for car's navigation system. Write the expression for the cost in dollars C as a function of number of days D. Now let us start with its solution. Here we have to write an expression in which cost is a function of number of days that is C of D which means C is a function of D here C represents cost in dollars and D represents number of days First of all, we see the change in both the variables C and D. Let us find change in D. Now, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Then, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. And here again, 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. So, Change in D is constant. Now let us find change in C. Now we have 115 minus 70 is 45. Then 160 minus 115 is again 45. And 205 minus 160 is again 45. So, change in C is again a constant. So, the relation between C and D is linear and linear function will be of the form y is equal to mx plus b. Now, per day charges are $45. So, for D number of days, cost of rent will be 45D dollars. 
Now there exist one time charges for navigation system that is twenty five dollars. So the total cost will include per day charges plus fixed charges for navigation system. Now for D number of days, total of per day charges will be equal to forty five D dollars. So the total cost C of D that is the total cost for D number of days will be equal to forty five D plus fixed charges for navigation system that is twenty five dollars or we can write C is equal to forty five D plus twenty five. So this is the required linear function in which cost is the function of number of days. Now let us discuss initial value and rate of change. Now in linear function rate of change is given by slope m that is at what rate y value changes with respect to x now in this example which we have discussed earlier there was a constant change in both the variables c and d here different values of c represent various y values and different values of d represent various x values so here the rate of change is equal to change in y upon change in x now change in y is 45 and change in x is 1 so rate of change is equal to 45 upon 1 and this is equal to 45 thus slope m is equal to 45 now initial value y is that value which we obtain when the other quantity x is minimum and mostly it is zero now suppose initially sam had five cards he decides from now onwards he will purchase two cards every week for his collection then relationship between number of cards y and number of weeks x is given by y is equal to 2x plus 5 now initially he had started with five cards now minimum number of weeks can be zero now we have taken number of weeks as x so when number of weeks are zero that is when x is equal to 0 y is equal to now putting x is equal to 0 in this equation we get y is equal to 2 into 0 plus 5 which is equal to 5 so this implies y is equal to 5 now here we know that 5 represents y intercept and coefficient of x that is 2 represents the slope now here we have obtained y is equal to 5 also we know that initially sam had five cards it means y intercept gives us the initial value 
For most of the problems, we take initial value of y at x is equal to 0, but initial value depends on the verbal description of the question. Like in example of rental cost of a car, we cannot say initial charges are $25 because according to this question, we have to hire a car for at least a day. So here we will get initial value when number of days D is equal to 1. Now let us put D is equal to 1 in this equation. We have C is equal to 45 into 1 plus 25 which is equal to 45 plus 25 which is equal to 70. Thus, initial charges are $70. So, for this example, we get the initial charges when D is equal to 1. Or we can say, here we get the initial value of Y at X is equal to 1. So in this session we have learned how to construct a linear function and to determine its initial values and rate of change. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.